Hey everyone, Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas, and I wanted you guys to check this out. Okay, so one of my last videos, uh, I showed you guys my pepper plants in the Dutch buckets, and I showed you a problem I was having, and I added magnesium to my system because that's what I thought it was, and I think I was right. <laughs> So I added the magnesium and I got an explosion of growth. So I wanted to update you guys and kind of show you um, where I noticed the magnesium deficiency and I left the old leaves on just so you guys can see, um, you know, basically from which they came or which they came, whatever, however you say that. So, um, and then where they are now and, and uh, how they're producing. So I'm getting a lot of flowers and everything. So. Let's go in for a little bit closer look on each one of these. But just before we do that, go ahead and click on this icon, uh, or excuse me, this card up there, or wherever it pops up, and uh, that way you can see the last video. And then on that video, I have a card from when I planted these in my Dutch buckets into my aquaponic system. So this is basically Dutch bucket peppers that are grown in aquaponic water, okay? so. It's the same process though, basically. I'm, I'm growing peppers, um, but I'm using water, but everything that's in the water is in the soil. So anyways, let's take a closer look. Here is the first Dutch bucket on the row. And as you can see, it has gotten a lot bigger. This is actually a banana pepper. And you can see uh, quite, a, quite a big one here growing. Try not to snap it. So, and then there's other ones on there as well, starting to grow. So it just started to fruit, I think about last week. So this is the sweet banana pepper that I'm growing. Uh, as you can see, the leaves look pretty good. Uh, pretty common for, um, for uh, pepper plants to have stuff like this going on. So like the leaves are a little misshaped like this one here. Um, but overall, all the new growth that's coming in it has um, nice looking leaves, okay? Um, the reason why you wanna pay attention to that is if you get like crazy looking leaves, like that one on the end there, um, that usually is a pretty clear indication that you're having a calcium issue in your water. I don't think I'm having a calcium issue because almost all of my pepper plants that I'm gonna show you right now, uh, they don't have issues like this coming in, okay? Uh, that is technically speaking older growth where the new growth is um, nice so this may just be a hiccup uh, from around that timeline see that's the cool thing is you can actually go around the plant and see oh this leaf came in you know around the same time that the other ones did that are having the issue so I've um, added a little bit of calcium last time and of course the magnesium and now the magnesium is just making things take off so let's check out the other pepper plants all right so this is pepper plant number two in the dutch bucket system okay now i'm trying to see if we can see any of the older leaves that is something eating my leaf it's not there anymore um, but if you look down here you know i'm just going to pull this one leaf off and if you check out the last video, I'm sure you'll see it was around there that we were having an issue. But this was the magnesium issue I was having, okay? So you see the cupping of the leaf and then that um, chlorosis starting to, to, to happen. A lot of the time it's cupping and then the chlorosis, okay? So um, I think I've rectified the problem here. So let's scan up here and check out the rest of the plant with my awesome camera work so as you can see all the new growth nice and and healthy and uh, all happy about the magnesium look at that okay this is a different pepper plant this is a red bell pepper plant um, so I think they're called like red beauties yeah this is a red beauty variety uh, and that's all I have in here is the the one sweet banana pepper and then the other red beauties all right, so this is the last bell pepper plant on the the aisle of uh, the Dutch buckets. And as you can see, um, on the lower growth, that was where we were having clear indication, clear issues. Okay. And um, I guess the reason why I knew it was magnesium is because I already knew 
I, you know, I tested my water for everything else. You know, I tested for iron. Iron was good. Uh, you want to have a threshold of iron, I think, between like 1.5 and and 3 or 3.5. I don't usually go over 3, um, but generally speaking, that's where I keep it. So my iron was good. Um, I checked for calcium. Calcium was good. Um, I didn't check for magnesium because I don't think I had a test kit for magnesium, but I read, okay, and magnesium always shows up in the older growth and not in the newer growth where calcium it'll show up in the uh, newer growth so you'll get like the new growth coming in the new uh, tips coming in and they'll be all crazy looking so um, so anyways this is the last one on the aisle here and let's pan up here without the crazy monster in the background just so you guys can see these are leaning back though because the uh, wind's pushing them and they get plenty of sun where they're at. So, but yeah, really healthy. Um, see, this is a little bit of a calcium issue. So I need to keep my eye on that. But generally speaking, pepper plants uh, that I've noticed, um, they always have <laughs> this leaf stuff going on. I mean, it's not horrible. Just keep an eye on it. So, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, everything's looking really good. All right, and this is the only one that's kind of really stunted, um, but it has grown a lot since the last video. Clear signs again, cupping of the leaves, and then um, the yellowing and stuff, the chlorosis that's happening here. I left these on because it's not going to hurt the plant. You don't have to take them off or anything like that. Same exact bell pepper plant as the other ones, but if I can give you a little side view here, so... Sorry about the sun, you guys, but it is what it is, right? Ooh, that just blew the sun out of here. Well, anyways, so this plant obviously is a lot smaller than the other ones. Um, but I think the reason for that is, is that my potato plants are kind of blocking out the sun a little bit. So, not a very good spot for them, but whatevers. <laughs> Alright guys, so basically this was just an update video to show you guys the magnesium definitely worked on my pepper plants. And, um, you know, they're growing like crazy now. And I'm happy about it. And I hope you guys are too. See that? Something eating my leaves. So I'm going to have to come out here and find out what it is. You know what I need to get? I need to get one of those bug assaults so I can come out here and just assault stuff. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, yeah, this is the uh, healthy plant. And um, if you guys like this video, obviously, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, so if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to get more of my video updates on aquaponic videos and also backyard farming of all different kinds. And um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. Mash the sub button and um, hit that uh, icon, or that icon, Hit, yeah, hit the icon to basically um, get notifications. So it's the little bell icon. So anyway, guys, like always, God bless you and uh, peace. All right, so as you can see, this bell pepper plant, it's looking really good. You know, it's got uh, just some awesome stuff going. Ha <laughs> ha.